11. al Khalik, the Creator, the Maker al Khalik is one of the 99 names of Allah in Islamic belief. It is an Arabic term that translates to the Creator or the Maker. The name al Khalik emphasizes Allah's attribute of being the ultimate creator of everything in the universe. It signifies his power and ability to bring into existence all that exists, from the smallest particle to the vastness of the cosmos. Allah is considered the source of all creation, and his act of creation is seen as a display of his wisdom, knowledge and infinite capabilities. Muslims believe that recognizing Allah as al khaliq helps them develop a deeper understanding of his role in shaping and orchestrating the world. Allah is the one who brings everything from non-existence to existence. al khaliq in Arabic, al haliku he is the one who creates things from nothing with no precedence till he creates what he pleases and in a perfect manner. He is the only one who determines when, how, and what to create and does so from nothing. The name al khaliq is mentioned in the Quran eight times, the three names of creation, al khaliq the creator, Obari, the producer, and al Muzawar, the fashioner. These names may seem synonymous with Allah's ability to invent or create. But they are distinct names offering unique shades of meaning, bringing out different aspects to Allah's creating of creation. For example, these three names are often said to represent an order to his creation. First, you have al khaliq the Creator. He who produces something from nothing, i.e., he plans and creates. Secondly, he is al bari the producer, the one who initiates and brings into existence. Lastly, he is al Muzawar, the fashioner, he organizes and shapes the arrangement of the creation. What's amazing is these names are followed in this exact sequence based on their meaning in in the following ayah. He is Allah, the creator, the inventor, the fashioner, to him belong the best names. Whatever is in the heavens and earth is exalting him. And he is the exalted in might, the wise. Quran 59:24. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates and he does so on an unimaginable scale. He creates from nothingness, whereas we are merely finding ways to transform material from one form to another. We are limited in what we can make, whereas Allah's creation is unbounded. No single creation exists without his willingness for it to be. Every one of Allah's creations has its origination with him, and he gave it its form according to his divine knowledge and wisdom. Then we made the sperm drop into a clinging clot, and we made the clot into a lump of flesh, and we made, from, the lump, bones, and we covered the bones with flesh. Then we developed him into another creation. So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. Quran 23:14 For verily it is thy Lord who is the master creator knowing all things Quran 15:86 If we take a second to reflect on all of Allah's creations How can a person be created from a small drop of fluid and have it manifest into 30 trillion cells that all work in unison, giving us life? If you gaze at the night sky, look at each tiny speck of light, each one of those is a giant star existing far away in some galaxy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created. Yet here we are on this relatively small rock, floating through space, and it's the only one we know that is habitable. All the beauty in the world, and you get to experience it, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed us to play a part in it, how can you not feel humble and appreciative of this very moment? The pessimist says, but think of all the fitness, i.e., trials or tests, of the world. A person can look through a window and appreciate the beauty outside, but it is possible to fixate only on the specks that dirty the glass, whatever you focus on, you will see. The verses which mentions the name, al are 6-102, 13-16, 15-86, 36-84, 36 to 86 